whatever was in there out of this basket. We barely even looked at the basket, let alone took anything out. So ironically, to sum all this up, five minutes ago, my boyfriend called the woman and they came to a resolution. And now I feel like, wow, all this crazy social media situation was for nothing. And now we've got other people in the news doing very severe things. And I'm like, why are we wasting our time for this? But we came to a resolution um, and it's all solved. But I cannot believe that it took people creating articles and, and me coming to your show, having to defend myself. You know me at all. If you go on my social media, you know that I'm prolific, especially right now, about trying to give back and help our community. Hell no. Uh, I'm no Mother Teresa by any sort. Oh, we know that. I've been encouraging people to do anything they can, whether it's donate clothes, give blood, you know, reach out to your friends and family to stay connected because, you know, people are getting depressed. Why in, you know, but why in the heck would I steal medical supplies, especially in this time? It's just, it just doesn't make L sense. Let me just ask you, actually, why not look inside the basket before you guys drove off and, and if it's medical supply, then say, ah, maybe this has nothing to do with the dresser. Exactly. Well, the fact of the matter is, uh, I can't change that now, but we didn't. We grabbed it, we were out doing errands. Um, we were in London uh, a few days prior, uh, getting ready for my fight. Meanwhile, everyone back in the States were uh, stockpiling on toll. Well, you know, folks, this look on Area Hawani's face says it all. And it's probably what you and all of us are thinking. We don't believe a damn thing she just said. And I know if this guy, Area Hawani, don't believe it, probably most of the mainstream media, most of the fans in mixed martial arts probably don't believe what you're saying. Huh. Oh, man. Oh. Stay tuned. Coach Sheldon Harrison, there never been no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. All right, all right. L D W M M A C. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Man, I tell you what, um, Area Hawani was not buying this story. Guys, you guys know why attorneys they don't let their clients at many times take the stand. Attorneys a lot of the times will tell their clients to not take the stand because they don't because they want their clients to shut the hell up. They want the clients to shut up because the more that they say can be used against them. And most people what they do is they say a lot of stuff that's going to incriminate them. And I feel like at this point, Ashley Evan Smith, there is no explaining everything. Everything's on video camera. Everything that she said has been contradicted just by looking at that video. Okay, first, you know, she was going on. And, you know, you guys got to, I can't put the whole interview up here, okay? But first, you know, you guys, y'all got to go look at the video. Okay, I'm sorry, not, well, go look, listen to the interview. So first she was saying that she didn't know that the supplies were free. Okay, fine. If you didn't know it was free, and just like, you know, Ari Hawani, he was kind of, you know, implying that, okay, why didn't you check? I mean, it could have been easy. Could have been easy to check. I mean, you had the woman's information. Could have called her. Could have shot her a text real quick. You could have did something because she knew you were coming at a certain time. So she was there. Okay? And you knew she was there because her car was in the driveway. You know, and Ari Hawani was like, so wouldn't it make common sense for you to look in the box? Well, you know, and then my theory on that, look, when you when you look at the dresser, I mean, really look at the video carefully. You can see that the items are stockpiled inside of the dresser. How do you not know what that is? And then, you know, Ashley Evan Smith, she was saying, well, you know, she going to return these items. Now, get this, you know, some of the items, you know, wasn't returned. She returned the baskets. Yeah, 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 the baskets got returned. But, you know, <laughs> the mask, the, the, the medical supplies 
did not get returned. And her excuse was, well, some of them could have got lost in the rain because we did some driving around. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Girl, you know y'all took them damn masks. You know y'all took them masks. You know y'all got them somewhere. Look, y'all, let's just say, look, the mask ain't coming back. The mask ain't coming back. And, and, you know, and anybody dumb enough to believe, anybody dumb enough to believe that this woman don't know what happened to them damn masks, like they got lost in the rain. How'd they get lost in the rain? They was in your damn car. Like, guys, it's so much stuff wrong with this. And then to add insult to injury, you know, it's almost like she uh, she threw John Jones under the bus. Well, well, there's more people out here doing, you know, worse stuff than this. Wait, 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 see? This is why clients should never go to the stand. That, that's why that, that's why Ashley Evan Smith should have just shut up. Because when she said that there's people doing worse things. So wait a minute. So you're implying that you did do something bad. You're implying that you did do something bad. I'm going to tell y'all something, guys. The lips can move. The body can move. The eyes can blink. But the brain can't lie. The brain can never lie. The brain will always be transparent. But you got to listen just long enough. Okay, you got to listen long enough to understand what the person's brain is going to tell you. I can tell a lie in a minute. This girl was lying. And you, guys, I ought to break that whole interview down and tell you when and where she was lying. I mean, God, dog. Like, you know, people can lie to your face in a straight face right now. People can do it and not even flinch. What is one of these people, okay? No, I think what John Jones is doing, <laughs> listen, uh, you know, John Jones has, is doing dumb stuff. But God, dog, you're taking medical supplies from a hospital. And let's just call it what it is, okay? Most of America believe that's what you're doing anyway because everything ain't came back, huh, Flat Booty? Everything ain't came back, Flat Booty. Where are those supplies? And, and don't tell us that they got lost in the rain. How you gonna explain this? You tried to explain this, Flat Booty. But see, at the end of the day, the medical supplies are gone. What did y'all do? Did y'all sell them? Or do you have them stored away because you're going to sell them? I'm telling y'all, this sounds very, very fishy, okay? And the story, the more that she talks, this story isn't lining up. And y'all look at Area Hawani face. Area Hawani looking at her like, girl, you are so full of shh, PG-13 channel. Like, he really legitimately is looking at her like, nah, uh-uh. <laughs> and you know, and, and then you go to the video in the comment section, man, don't, ain't nobody buying this. You got a couple of people who dumb enough to say, oh, man, well, uh, we don't have all the facts. Yeah, no, the facts are on that damn video. The facts are on that video. And guys, look, you know, he didn't know what was in there. Well, wait a minute. If he didn't know what was in there, this right here tells the story, y'all. Okay, look, the basket is open. You can see what's in the basket. Wait a minute. How do you not know? How can you not see what's in that damn basket? No, he picked that basket up, which he knew exactly what was in the basket. Okay, he took it to his car and did not return the contents of that basket. Or he returned the contents but not the medical supplies in that basket. Okay, stop, stop, stop. This video right here, the video that got taken down, and probably the lady herself may have taken the video down, or Instagram may have taken it down. I don't know who took it down, but I got a copy of it. But the coach do. Oh, the coach got a copy of it. And see, you know, <laughs> social media leaves a footprint. It leaves a footprint. And, and, and unfortunately, the fact of the matter is, y'all, is that when you put stuff out there on Instagram, somebody is going to copy it. Somebody is. Somebody going to copy it and paste it and put it wherever they got to put it at. I'm one of those people. Yeah, I did it. Hell, anybody want to copy of the video, just let me know. I'm going to send you that video. This girl should have been arrested. Now, you know, hey, hey, hey well, you know, they, they, they quick to arrest, you know, John Jones. They quick to throw him in the slammer. This girl should be in jail, man. This girl was stealing, okay? That's what the hell it is. She need to be in jail. She need to be arrested, okay? But, you know, of course, of course, okay? She's got hope. She's got a hope pass. She's got a hope pass. So, of course, they're not going to arrest her. Of course, they're not going to put her in jail. She got her privilege. <laughs> hey, I can do what I want to do and say I'm sorry, and then I guess it's okay. Ashley, Sorry. We see right through this, okay? Nobody's believing your story. Your story sucks, okay? And, 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 and everything that you're talking about, how you explain, girl, listen, I, I, I wish I could talk to you live. I'd eat you alive. I would ask you a thousand questions. See, Ari Hawani was nice. 
He was nice, okay? I would dig into your soul. I would take your soul and rip it out of your mouth. Okay, I would take your soul and rip it out of your mouth. Then I'd be so hard in the pain on you. Okay, uh, please. Ariel took it easy. He just didn't, he, Ariel, Ariel just didn't want to hurt your feelings. He didn't want to hurt your feelings, okay? But he was thinking like, girl, you so full of sh It is what it is, though. Tell me what you think in the comment section. It's your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.